Are you able to identify these handsome ducks in this brief look? Perhaps you see the bright yellow eyes and the round white spot on the face of the male. You therefore identify these as a pair of common golden eye. Here's a flock at a distance. There's one adult male common golden eye in this group. But what about the other seven birds? There seem to be four females and three immature males. But are they all common golden eye? Might one be a barrow's golden eye? Are they all even golden eyes? Bufflehead and common golden eyes are in the same genus, Bucephala. That name means bull-headed, a reference to the large puffy heads of these ducks. Note that the white spot of the golden eye is on the front of the face near the bill, below and in front of the eye. There is a large white wedge on the back of the head of the male bufflehead. The female bufflehead has a thick white line on the cheek to the back of the head. Male scops, both greater and lesser, do not have any white on the face. The female scop has a white crescent reaching around the bill. Note that it reaches over the top of the blue bill. The bill of the male golden eyes is black. Compare now female lesser scop with immature male common golden eye. The immature male common golden eye has a messy facial spot on a brown head. Again though, note the blue bill on the scop. You're not going to mistake the redhead with its blue bill with a female golden eye, right? But at a distance or in fog or drizzle, they may appear similar at first. And the skinny red bill and long body of the merganser is quite different from the large wedge-shaped bill and short stocky body of the golden eye. Common golden eyes breed in Alaska and across Canada. They also breed in Europe and across Central Asia. Barrow's golden eye breed primarily from southern Alaska to Yellowstone National Park. There is also a population breeding in southern Quebec. They breed in Iceland and their name translates to house duck. Imagine that! In most of the contiguous United States, common golden eyes are uncommon winter visitors November into April. They are more rare to the south. On the other hand, most Barrow's golden eyes only migrate to the nearest body of open water. That means they are found primarily in the west and also in the coastal northeastern U.S. Most birders will be looking for rare Barrow's golden eyes in winter mixed in with the more expected common golden eyes. Look for them on larger reservoirs, rivers, and coastal bays. They dive frequently and stay under a long time, so it usually requires patience to find one even if one is known to be at that location. And that brings us to Common Golden Eye versus Barrow's Golden Eye and this wonderful photograph by David A. Mitchell. There is a hen mallard on the shore to compare size. The rightmost bird is a male Common Golden Eye. The next bird to the left is a male Barrow's Golden Eye. Then comes a female Common Golden Eye. Finally, on the left is a female Barrow's Golden Eye. Do you see the difference in the shape of the heads? The common golden eyes have triangular shaped heads. Let's observe this on more photos. The head shape appears to be a triangle with rounded points. The points are the bill, top of the head, and back of the head. And look at the size of that bill. It's just huge. This triangular head shape and large bill is also shown by the female. Note the bill color. Female common golden eyes have mostly dark bills with a yellow tip. The head shape of the barrow's golden eye is subtly different. The forehead of the male is steep and reaches forward. The crest is like a mane hanging down on the back of the neck. The head shape is more like an oval, from the forehead back and down to the hind neck. The female has a similar shape and it creates a rather flat top of the crown rather than pointed. The bill of the female Barrow's golden eye is usually smaller and stubbier than the bill of the female common golden eye. And note the color. The bill of female Barrow's golden eyes are usually all yellow, or mostly so. Now we're going to go back and look at the amount of white on the sides of the males. Common golden eye have white scapulars and big white wing patches on both the secondaries and coverts. Barrow's golden eyes have less white on the scapulars and secondary coverts. Thus, when swimming, their wings have more black and less white showing. 
Here's a female Barrow's Goldeneye showing white secondaries. Look again at this pair of Barrow's Goldeneye. Do you see the head shape with steep forehead? Stubbier yellow bill of the female? Less white on the wing? Not all birds are going to be so sharply marked. Here is an immature male in April, about a year old. In the fall, it will molt into its adult plumage. Do you recognize the triangular head shape and big bill as belonging to common goldeneye? I hate to do this to you, but these two species do hybridize sometimes. Hybrid females will probably not be identifiable as such. But look at this adult male. This is a presumed hybrid. For the most part, it looks like a barrel's goldeneye. Head shape is right. Limited amount of white on the wings fit. The bill is a bit large. The white spot on the face is a bit too oval and not crescent shaped. And it has greenish head sheen matching common goldeneye. Head sheen depends on the angle of the sun, angle of the bird's head, and angle to the observer. Male common goldeneyes typically show a green head sheen. Male barrel's goldeneye typically show a purplish head sheen. But these are feather structural colors, not pigments. The actual color of the feathers is black. These head colors are suggestive, not diagnostic. What's the lesson? Not all birds can be identified with certainty. Click on this video to identify unusual plumages of red-tailed hawks.